the um like you know speaking about that and the actual facts is uh does this cover 14 million square miles so mm. when we was building on uh, making the student enrollment in spanish right the god infinite and his he has selva you know for for the wilderness of north america i have um desierto because mm. when you google when you google the word what does uh a wilderness mean in Spanish, it gives you desierto. But he has seba. Seba means uh, like a jungle. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So, so, you know, like when we was uh, going, you know, after I had found out that he wrote another set of 120 as well. Well, you know, we came to that agreement that, you know what I'm saying, that it, he left it the way he left his jungle. And I left, I left mine the way I wrote it. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like an agreement that we knew what that meant. That word wilderness. Yeah, see that? Okay, so now getting into that, the, the size <laughs> of... Of, of, of translating 120 in Spanish. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because at the beginning, uh, I, 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 I thank him in a way because I was in the class with free, um, in the computer room. It was unique. And he said, well, you say you know it, so you, so you say something. Because I used to... And, and the maker, right? I used to say a fabricante. So mm. they freedom looked at me, you know what I'm saying? And he looked at me and he said fabricante. Like that word sound fabricante really means fabricate. You know, the fabricate like I'm trying to look for a word to to to, to make for the maker. Mm. So they looked at me and they said, El que hace. That's the exact word. So I left it like that. El que hace la crema de planeta tierra. El, el dueño, ¿sí? El que hace es the maker. El dueño is the owner. La crema is the cream. Mm. De planeta tierra, of the planet Earth. Mm. Padre de civilizaciones, father, father civilization, y Dios del universo, God of the universe. Okay, say that last part again, the God of the universe, el del universo. Eh, 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 padre de civilizaciones, right? Father That's for civil, for, 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 for civilization. Dios del universo. Dios. Okay, okay. So it's God. God is Dios. Dios, Dios right. del universo. You know what I'm saying? God of the universe. You know what I'm saying? So we got it word for word correctly. You know what I'm okay. saying? In the second degree, who's the color man? ¿Quién es el hombre de color? El hombre de color es el hombre blanco casiático right. o el diablo injetado de Jacob. So you know, but well, I hear Diablo. But see, and, and Diablo because, is devil. Okay, right, right, because you know, you know, uh, I don't speak Spanish, right? But you, so you kind of you educating me here. Yeah, el hombre you, blanco is white. Is white. Yeah. El casiático is Caucasian, so it's Caucasian white man, mm. or, or a Diablo injetado. Or, or the, the, so, so Jacob in Spanish would be Jacob. And then and Jaco. And then they and, and then the Peruvian and Argentine they call him Jacobo too. Jacobo. 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 So they got Jacob and Jacobo. Mm. So you know that's why when we was at the Universal Parliament and um the God understanding was telling him that they got different continents, you know what I'm saying? That's the Spanish changes. So the God infinite, he just turned his back. You know what I'm saying? Because he felt like he could communicate with those brothers and just like get it translated because he he had been wrote that, but then there's a different speaking people of uh, population that they, the, the words just change slightly, but they got the same significance. Like for example, right? Like say Dominicans will say vaina. We say cosa, but it what, means it, the what, same thing. What, is it, what does it mean? That, that's a thing. Like we say, that thing, that's a, the, for to them, to a Dominican, that'll be vaina. To us, Puerto Ricans, it'll be cosa. Cosa. Or, or like from somebody so from. Cosa means a thing. A thing, right? Like from somebody in South America, right? Now, we'll, 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 they'll say ahorita. Ahorita for us will mean, we'll say later. That means later for us, for the Puerto Ricans. So you telling me ahorita, that means. You give it to me later, you know what I'm saying? Which to me is like, like my, like my nephew say, that sounds retarded. Uh, mm -hmm. Like me, me speaking to me because if you tell me, ahorita, I'm, I'm, that, they telling me I'm gonna bring it right now. But to me, that means you're gonna bring it to me later. Mm -hmm. So you see how it changed? 
uh, just two just two letters could change the whole significance of a word. So that's why we gotta be very careful with the translation. God, God, I'm I'm very fascinated with the science of language. Like I said, you know, I, I grew up with a Puerto Rican babysitter, so I'm familiar with some of the words, the, the, the words, mm -hmm. and some and the culture. Right. Somewhat, I just never fully picked up the uh, the language, mm -hmm. right? Right. You know, and then I also went and I spent I spent a couple of months in the Dominican Republic. Oh, okay. I had a black woman out there okay. that I was staying with. You know what I mean? And, and she was like my translator uh -huh. around the country. And, and I, but okay. I noticed like you know the, the difference. But I but I never fully grasped the language. But okay. now and I, and I was back in 2009, 2010. Right, or, or 08 and 09, pardon me. If Mega did this.